let's see how to calculate the NPV. So the formula that you have to use equal NPV open the brackets then you have to select the rate so the rate is 10 percent I will select that cell and put a comma. Next what you have to do you have to select the cash flows. When you are selecting the cash flows please keep in your mind don't select the year zero cash flow which is your initial investment. From year one onwards select your cash flows. After that you can close your brackets. Then what you have to do finally you have to adjust for your initial investment. So in this particular question initial investment is 100,000. So here since it is already it is a negative value I will put it as positive and I will select this cell. So here the NPV is going to be how much 13,900. 84. If not what you can do you can remove this particular initial investment amount. So you are getting the present value of this all the cash flows from that what you can do you can deduct 100,000. So that is another way that you can do this particular question. So this is how you have to calculate the NPV using the NPV formula.